Alright guys, so I'm here today to teach you how to get Siri on your iPod, iPhone 4, 3GS, iPad, and iPad 2. Uh, something you need to do before you actually do this is you're going to need to be jailbroken. And there's tons of YouTube videos showing you how to be jailbro how to get jailbroken and I would recommend using Retinal. Uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to go to Cydia. You're going to go ahead and open Cydia and you're going to wait for it to load. Uh, it might take some time. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and go to Cydium. Uh, and if this is the first time using it, you're going to have to wait for that to finish loading. And if it's not, you can just go ahead and click cancel. Alright, then you're going to go to search. Nope, you're going to go to manage. Uh, you're going to go to sources, edit, and add. You're just going to go ahead and put ihacksrepo.com. You can go ahead and add that source. I already have it, so... When you're done, you should see something like this, ihacksrepo.com. And if you click it, you should see some stuff there. If you don't, you're just going to go to Changes. You're going to hit Refresh on the top left corner. Uh, but then you're going to go to Search once it's done. And you're going to look for Spire. Right? And here you have Spire and Spire for iPad and iPad 2. Uh, Spire is just for iPod and iPhones. Then Spire for iPad 2 and iPad is uh, actually a iHex repo exclusive. So if you want to install iPad for iPad 2, you're going to have to add that iHex repo uh, source. If not, you can just go to regular Spire. As you can see, I already have it installed here. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and install it again. But uh, Spire is actually 100 megabytes, so it might take some, it may take a while to download. If it takes over 2 minutes, that's going to be fine. Uh, it just means that your internet's a little bit slow, uh, but once you're done installing that, you might have you might have to reboot. Um, you're gonna go to settings, and you should scroll down and see Spire. There you have Spire. It should look a little something like this. Then you're gonna go back to settings. You're gonna go to general, Siri, and Siri should be there. All right, let's enable Siri, and this is what happens. Siri not available. Connect to the internet. You're gonna need to do now is you're gonna need to buy a series slot from either iHacks Repo or Uhelios. Okay, guys, so here's the two websites that you can buy it from iHacks Repo and Uhelios. Uh, they're both about $15. They both work great, but then keep in mind that they're in beta stage and there might be a couple of bugs and sometimes it might not be up maybe for like 10 minutes or so. Uh, but that's because they're trying to make it faster. They're trying to add more features. But overall, it's pretty good um, for $15 instead of having to upgrade for an iPhone 4S. Um, in the description below, I've provided the links to these websites. And you could also see them on the video. Something that they require is, well, first of all, the payment. And also, your UDID. Your UDIDs, your phones, iPods, iPads, specific... Um, identification and there's a couple of ways that you could give this to them so the first method is using a UDID finder app and I've provided the link below to this UDID finder app and once you've downloaded and opened it you could see your UDID and you could input it into iHex repo or Uhelio so they could process the payment the payment takes about 24 hours or less and this will allow you to connect to their series server so you could activate Spire. Another thing you could do is you could plug in your iPod, iPad, iPhone into iTunes. And right here under serial number, it should say your serial number. Uh, just click it once and it should change to your UDID. And you can do the same thing. Just copy and paste the UDID into Helios or uh, iHex Repo, whichever one you choose to use. And after that, your payment should process, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, so once your payment has been processed and you've received an email, if you bought a slot from Uhelios, you, you're going to have to do this extra step. If not, you can skip to minute 5 and 59 if you bought one from iHex Repo. First, you're going to open Cydia. Let's just wait for it to load again. Okay. 
Dirt City, I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel on this once again since it's not my first time opening it. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to manage, sources, go to edit, add repo.uhelios.com. You're going to add the source. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not going to add it, as you can see right here. Uh, and this should be the only thing in there. If not, you could just go to, if there's nothing in there, just go to changes. Hit refresh. Uh, and it should appear. So once you have that, you're going to click on it. You're going to go ahead and hit install. And it's just basically, it will allow you to connect to the servers. Since I don't have a series slot from Helios, I have them for my hex repo. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and install this. Okay. What you are going to do next is you're going to go ahead and open Safari. Uh, we're going to install the certificates next. Um, so there's Siri.ihexrepo.com. And if you bought from iHexrepo, you're going to use that. If not, you're going to use Orbit.uhelios.com. And you're going to pick one of these servers, any of those servers. I would recommend using any it said Orbit because Orbit has a lot of users and you're going to go ahead and click there and then that's going to redirect you to install that once you install that um, let me hit cancel it's going to be the same thing as iHacks repo I have iHacks repo so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and install that certificate going to go ahead and install it install now and this is the same thing for you Helios it should redirect you, and you should have a couple of servers. Uh, since I'm on iHacks Repo, I'm going to choose the first one. Or, uh, for your Helios, there's about eight. You're just going to go ahead and install that. Install now. Done. And you're going to copy the link. You're going to copy that link, and you're going to put that link in Spire. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, there it goes. Oh. Okay. You're going to go ahead and copy and you're going to go to your settings. You're going to go back. You're going to look for Spire. And you're going to go ahead and copy the host in there. Go back. What you're going to do next is you're going to go to general, Siri. You're going to go ahead and enable Siri. Uh, I will turn off race to speak and let's see if it works. Hi. And there it goes. We have Siri working. Uh, enjoy and don't be afraid to donate. It took me a while to make this video.